I have an LED strip at home that's a WS2811 LED strip, which is 12 volts. And I ran it for years off a program called uh, Bruh Animation. And that program's kind of gotten old and obsolete. So I updated it to a project called WLED. And when I did that, I started getting some data corruption on the signal line. I'm sure it's software related. But at any rate, uh, these chips... Uh, they're, they have a 3.3 volt data pins. This green wire here is the data pin on D4. So it sends a signal to the lights that's only 3.3 volts. If you have a real long string of lights, that can be a problem because past each light, you'll get a voltage drop. And eventually, uh, you know, you'll run out of steam there and uh, you'll have data corruption issues like I was realizing. So how you get around that is you add something called a logic level shifter. And this is what I had. You put 3.3 volts in the two middle pins. You put 5 volts on the two middle pins on the top. And then any one of the other four pins is a signal pin. So you would put your 3.3 volt data in and you'd get 5 volt data out, which should power your thing. The trouble with these chips is they're not fast enough. The rise time is not fast enough. So what I did was I got a Texas Instruments 74 AHCT 125 chip, and I put it into my circuit right here. Um, this is it right here. So you can see I've got the green data wire going to the input of the chip. The output would be the pin next to it. Uh, which, of course, I don't have any LED strips installed to it right now. And then it powers the Node MCU, which is the, the chip, the ESP8266 chip, gets 5 volts from, uh, this is a 12-volt to 5-volt uh, regulator or converter or whatever you want to call it. So at any rate, I had data corruption issues, and I was able to fix them by removing this logic converter and replacing it with a more precise and faster logic converter. So problem solved.